Syntax highlighting is used by many text editors to help you distinguish things like comments or other parts of code. For example, reserved keywords. If in MATLAB I do four, uh, you know, i in, let's see, i equals one to 10, then it syntax highlights the numbers as well as the keywords such as four. One of the things that we have in AP Monitor is a modeling language, and we have syntax highlighting available for that. But by default, that is not loaded in programs like Notepad++, Gedit, and Atom. But I'll show you the way to add syntax highlighting for those. Just go to AP Monitor, syntax highlighting. If you do a Google search on that, the first link that will come up is this one that will show you how to add those language definitions for Atom, Gedit, and Notepad++. We'll do it for Notepad++. And there's some detailed instructions here on how to add that and how to import those. Okay, I'll just walk through that with you for Notepad++. So it's a free, uh, freely available package, a Notepad editor, and uh, we have, all, you know, if you download this, APM syntax to your desktop or some other place that you can find. Now you'll notice that um, you know we don't have uh, we have this AP monitor.xml document right here and I'll just go ahead and copy that out of the zipped archive. You can delete this one or you can just extract extract it. So here is our language definition. Okay and I'll go ahead and edit that you can see that this is already predefined and it will show you uh, some of the keywords and other things that will syntax highlight. Okay, I'll close that. And then what I'll do is come into, um, I can come into language. And then if you select define your language, you'll see that you can import a definition. And I'll just come to desktop and import the apmonitor.xml file. Okay, it says import is successful. And then when I exit out of here, um, I'll go to language, and then I can select user defined, or if when I open this back up again, let me go back to that. Okay, if I double click on this, I'll see you can look for more apps and have it automatically use something like Notepad++ to open these files. You may have to go to look for another app on this uh, PC and then go to Notepad++ and Notepad++ here, the executable. And you'll see that when I've opened it now, I see that it has syntax highlighting. Okay, and you can also change that, um, you know, change your user defined language. And uh, in this case, you have things like the variable section is highlighted with end variables. I have a minimization of an objective function. You can see that's highlighted as well. And it helps you, uh, you know, see the keywords and other things that guide the model development. So that's it for syntax highlighting. There's also, as shown here, there's also Atom or Gedit. If there's other languages that you'd like supported as well, please let us know. Or if you have a language definition file you'd like to contribute, please do that. Thanks.